Let's go. You should always stay focused. Day four. Sorry, let me fix that real quick. Day four. Day four, ballers and my fellow ballerettes. It's day four. And to start straight off the bat, just let you know that uh, we have day four and day five. And unfortunately, there will be no day six. I'm sad. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm sad. I'm sad because... Uh, you know, it was it was fun to to uh, to play ball, just you know, just play ball, seeing the guys and everything. But um, since that uh, this coronavirus is kicking now, since that we are in uh, October, is getting cold and people are catching cold, people are flu virus and coronavirus and everything. So we have all bunch of different cases. So now we we are in in a sort of a cold red if you want to call it like that so um they closed the gym they closed the gym they said 28 days and after that they will reevaluate the situation I'm not sure it's going to help though but um staying positive man i just hope that you know by uh after the 28 days we'll we'll get some good news hopefully cuz uh ball is life right ball is life so um Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed and stay positive. Uh, on a different note, you know, basketball three-on-three, three, bu- the custom-made bubble, and I was balling with my man, bad man, Steve-O, and wow, he was a bad man. I mean, talk about bad man. Uh, it's not Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is bad man, Steve-O. He was cooking and he was hot and I mean it's the kind of stuff you just love to enjoy watching right especially me like I'm I'm actually on the court and watching all these balls flying and dropping and like I'm like okay he, he, he's hot he's hot some sometimes you just realize it by the by seeing the level of of, of uh, difficulty he, he he pulls off the shot. I guess you're going to see it a few times when he grabs the rebound and he rushes to the three-point line and turns around. Barely looks at the rim. He just rushed to the three-point line, turns around, and just let it fly. And it just goes in like swish. And you'd be like, wow, okay. So he was in that type of zone. And, you know, like, if you get if you, if you are in, in, in that zone, nobody can stop you. So Batman Steve-O was in that zone. So me, I was like watching all these shots drop. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. It's that kind of party, man. So let's go. You know, you just like, you fuel off that. And you'd be like, yo, keep, keep shooting, keep shooting. Shoot or shoot, right? So uh, good thing about about Batman is that, you know, uh, when you see him, he, he's not the tallest one on the court, but he's the fastest one, the quickest one. And most basketball players, one thing that most basketball players uh, would love to have in their in their repertoire is the first step, right? That first step, like MJ had or Kobe had, just to like doing those hesitation, like one, two, and the and you just explode and you blow by the guy. It's not all. It's not all players who are uh you know like lucky to have that first step you know it's a it's a god gift and talent so if you have it you have it and if you don't then you find other ways to to beat your defender right bad man has that first step i mean he just catches the ball and sometimes you just watch him he just moves in slow motion and then he's gone and you'd be like damn and it's tough to, to 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 contain that much speed and quickness and of course it's it's a tremendous tool i mean because it, it allows you to 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 work less to do less effort uh on beating your opponent you don't have to do all these dribbles sometimes or just like all these fakes and all that you just like one two and then psh, you just go it should be like uh, uh, and you go and just by the the quick the quickness of the first step most of the time you end up being like alone you in the rim like you have a clear path to the to to the rim and easy layup you know and that that's that's the 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 main quality 
of Batman Steve. Of course, the man can shoot, as you as you gonna see. The man can shoot, but you know, speed. Like like we said, speed speed kills, man. Speed kills, and like I, I I'm saying uh, numerous times, you can't stop what you can't see. So that that's that's the resume of Bad Man Steve-O. So it's always a tough matchup because yeah, he, he's not tall, but he's fast, quick, and and he has a strong character. So which uh, means that he's not afraid of people on the court. Whoever wants to step on him, uh, he's gonna step on you. He's not afraid, and that's a quality that some that sometimes lacks in uh, in some basketball players because. They see some some other players too tall, too big, too muscular, too strong. They look and intimidation, intimidation, intimidation is 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 a powerful tool, right? Because sometimes uh, if if you're the one doing the the, the intimidation and you see that you, the other guy is intimidated, then half the points are going for you, you know. You, you just won half the game. Now you just have to win the game, but you have half the points. And Batman and Steve doesn't feel none of that, man. People are trying to bully him, push him around. Pfft, he gets up and he scores at you and he's like, what? Huh? What? He's the smallest dude. So sometimes guys tempt to, to, to not taking that, that seriously. And when he blows by you one or three times... It's gonna be a long night for you because you already have. You know what? What, what I was saying before when I say that if you underestimate your opponent and then you, you try to get back to your serious mode, sometimes it's too late. So by the time you're watching Batman Steve, or you'd be like, ah, little midget, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna shut him down, push him around. And when he hits a, 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 a few three pointers here and there, left, right, left hand, right hand, he blow, he blows by you, and you'd be like, okay, I'm gonna get on my serious mode. It's too late. <laughs> the damage is already done so that's the type of player he is man so uh, sometimes you, do, you, you don't have to to, to to be like the greatest ball handler or the greatest shooter and everything it's just grit and grind and you just have that will of of destruction and he has it you know I say that for myself and you know I talk about Zeno or, or Lethal and everything but he has it when he steps on that court he's like yo yo Max man Let's do this. He means business. You know, he means business. So, um, so yeah. So, uh, you're going to see that too in, in day five. So, uh, I'm going to roll the tape, guys. And you're going to see the magic of the Batman, Steve-O. As for myself, people are asking me like, so, you, you're doing all that, those fadeaways and those post moves and all that. I used to do it back in the day when I was younger, even though uh, I was you know, like 20, 20 something. And I, w I was doing it and doing it a lot because I grew up in the MJ era. So to me, watching him doing it, I was like, man, that's a lethal weapon. I mean, that's an un unstoppable shot. So I did, and I trained, I trained doing it. For some reason, I stopped. But this summer, I went back to it and I'm like, you know what? I can't let that die in my repertoire. So I, I brought it back. I worked on it a lot when nobody was watching. <laughs> and now people are like, what the hell is wrong with you doing all these post moves? I'm like, surprise. So guys, I don't care how old you are, okay? People say, well, you're doing that when you're old. No, if you're smart, you're going you're gonna to use it and use it a lot. Footwork is the key. You know, if you have good footwork and doing all this, and if if you have good footwork and you can do all these post moves and you include the fadeaway, trust me, you're going to be a problem for whoever's guarding you. Be smart about it, you know, and trust me, you're going to cause some a lot of damage because we are in the era of three-pointers. But whoever controls the mid-range... Inside the three-pointer, whether if it's the fadeaway or jump shots and everything, trust me, you will be a problem for the rest of your career. Keep that in mind. Trust me. So I'm going to roll the tape. And we are in the Scorpion Academy universe. The Scorpion universe. I'm the king. And guys, I'll be back soon. You know, we'll improvise. In the meantime... Let's go.